Since Neo fetches no longer under active development, you might be looking for some alternatives. In this video, I'll discuss a couple of alternatives for Fedora. So two of them are already available in the standard repositories, and the rest I will show you how to get and install them. And in the end, I will reveal my favorite moving forward. If you're interested in that, stick around, and without further ado, let's dig into the video. So, no longer NeoFetch, no longer been maintained, and uh, what are the choices? So here you have a couple of them. So I listed five, there are more, but I think these are the most interesting. So the first two, like I said in the introduction, are already in a standard repository, and the other three are very easy to obtain. But I'll show you that in this video. The reason it was no longer under active development, as you can see, the maintainer and the author of the repositories, um, yeah, decided to take up farming. So we thank Dylan for all the great work, of course, and wish him the best uh, in farming. But at least it's with a challenge uh, for that. You can maybe also see Pywall. There was also already a cover that, so we'll have a video popping up. If you're interested in that, and now we're looking at NeoFetch. So the first thing is uh, the first tool replacement is FastFetch, and it's uh, written in C mostly, and there's also some C++ and Objective C. Uh, very fast and lightweight. Uh, there are is actively being maintained. There are 92 releases, and the last release was about an hour ago. And it's very good documentation and some examples in the repo. I will get to that in the demo. And it's available for many, many platforms. And I think this is a very good contender to use as a replacement moving forward. So let's uh, look at the repository. Here you have it FastFetch, FastFetch CLI. It's in here. And some screenshots already, and all the supported platforms you see. You can build it from source, you can customize it. There's a good uh, wiki, and there are some presets, etc. Now, uh, like I said, it's uh, available in the standard repositories. So, sudo dnf install fastfetch. should get you fast fetch without any issues. In this case, it's already installed, so it's no problem. So fast fetch, uh, you could just run it and you have it here. This is the, the default, oops, do that again. It's the default, how it looks. And that's not very interesting, of course, uh, but you of course can customize it. And the first thing you must do is generate a config file. And for that, you can do fast fetch. Uh, gen uh, config. This is uh, already existing because I did it before, but it will write uh, home.config, fast fetch config, JSON C. You can also overwrite it, but that doesn't make any sense for me because I already have it. Here's the config. Uh, sorry, this is config, here.config, fastfetch, and this is the default one, config.jsonc. Let's click, click, zoom in. So you can add and remove modules or what you want and add arguments, etc. But there are a couple of other files here. And what I did is basically obtain them from this. So I did code download zip. And the zip I unpacked, so I unpacked the presets, examples. So the, the examples here, you see here, I unpacked them. And I put all the examples in here, so you can play around with it. So let's look at a couple, and yeah, you can make up your mind uh, what you think. So, um, uh, conf, what was it again? Yeah, load config, and this is the, the first one, and uh, let's do uh, one, uh, I think that one is not there, two. So there's a separate uh, way to look at it. So two separate uh, blocks, hardware, software, also very nice. So let's look at a couple of others. Very concise, this one, so let's make it transparent. 
better. Okay. Those three. Four. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this arch one. That's very limited. Six. Yeah, you get the, get the idea. So just loop through uh, those and uh, there's some good documentation as well. So you can do uh, the help. The help. Quite extensive. Is there a manual page? Fast fetch. Yes, there is a manual page. So you can go through that. And on here as well. The presets, the wiki, it's also a wiki. Basically showing you everything you need to know about how to uh, work with uh, the JSON format as well, the JSON schema. So this is not an in-depth tutorial, but I think FastFetch is a very, very, very good replacement for a NeoFetch moving forward. But let's move to the next one, shall we? Next one, screen fetch from Kitty Cat. Uh, it's a shell script. It's fast, straightforward, but there are only three releases. And last release was, yeah, what is it? Five years ago, November. So it's quite, uh, maybe they don't need to release more. I don't know, but uh, there are quite some contributors and quite some forks. Uh, so it's quite straightforward, like I said, but available on many NICs like OSs. So let's look at uh, the screen fetch, this repository. And it's quite straightforward, actually, uh, what you can do with it. So let's uh, show that. Uh, first, how to obtain it. Of course, for Fedora, you can, of course, use DNF install, screen fetch. Here it is. So it's quite straightforward, right? So I'll put uh, the help or what I found was handy, maybe truncate, but that's experimental. So making it uh, less wide uh, than normal. Yeah, so, oh yeah, and you can see it's uh, garbled here and this is uh, way better. So that's a nice feature, but yeah, it's quite straightforward. So let's look at uh, Machina or Mac China, depends on you how you want to pronounce it. It's made in Rust, so you can install it using Cargo if you want, but uh, GCC is then required. So I would suggest to do it uh, differently. It's very fast, uh, 63 releases. Last release was at uh, January 2023. There are some themes and uh, one script available in the repo. I will show you that in a minute. And uh, let's uh, dive into it. It's a repo. And I read a little bit that uh, currently it's a maintenance mode. Some bug fixes and small optimizations are done. But uh, yeah, when the author has more time, and they will uh, yeah implement other features. Um, but still, it's uh, come uh, far, I think, as a product and it works very well. Let's see how we can get it. I would say go to the releases page. And here you have some various binaries, Android, Linux, Mac, Net, BSB, Windows. So quite some platforms are supported. That's always very nice. So grab that, download uh, that. I downloaded it already. I put it in downloads, downloads. Here's the Linux executable. So the only thing you need to do is make it executable. I see. Now you can execute. And just uh, spits out this uh, system information. So it's very good. And uh, let's look at the manual or let's look at the help help so 
you can uh, use the doctor check for the program failures and uh, you can do long formatting if you want uh, the theme dash t and let's first list the themes l so these are the themes and i put them in here config uh, max china themes so how did i get them similar to uh, fast fetch i go into the repository contrib themes here are the themes so basically copied them to the directory <clears throat> and directory is a home demo my user folder dot config machina themes and let's check one for example beryllium that's quite nice uh, condensed one and uh, check one other maybe uh, the theme so it's also a very nice uh, one to be honest so looking good and uh, there's one other thing in the contrib and uh, you have scripts there is one yeah this is uh, i think more of an experiment where you could input a youtube video and potentially it should show that youtube video playing uh, when you run the the command Uh, I think it will show here, but I looked at it a little bit, but it worked partially for me, so on Fedora. So uh, I thought, well, it's a nice, nice feature anyway, but uh, it's nice to know that you can have scripts uh, on this project and ASCII. We'll just have the ASCII art here, the F from Fedora. That's it. Let's look at the next one. And the next one is NerdFetch. And NerdFetch is a, just a shell script. Very straightforward script. And doesn't even offer a help function. Uh, for the icons to show, you need to have a nerd fonts. So I will show that uh, later. And how to get it, just curl the file. So uh, let's switch here. Go to repository. It's the repo. So uh, you could just uh, grab it. So there's no Fedora, but you can uh, do this, curl it, GA mod it, and then run nerd fetch. I already did that. I'll spit out something like this. And there's a possibility there are some options you can do to change the icons. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Here are the various here. Cosette phosphor emojis. Those are these. Cosette phosphor. Let's show uh, emojis. So dash E. So let's zoom in a little bit. See, these are uh, it's quite nice. The emojis, uh, it's quite nice. So reset it. Oh, all right. So straightforward uh, one. And standard uh, nerd fonts are not available uh, on. Uh, or, sorry, patched. So if you want a certain nerd font, Ryan Oasis, go there. And for myself, what I just showed you was JetBrains Mono nerd font. I downloaded that and copied it to dot fonts. Here. And then reloaded the font cache and then it showed up and right click. Current profile, appearance, edit, uh, sorry, here, choose JetBrains Mono Nerd Font, as you can see. So that's the reason you saw the icons there. All right, so let's move to the next one.
RJ4 written in Python and not so fast. So <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, there's a config file with examples, 39 releases, and last release was last month. How to get it? You need to have the uh, Python tree net high faces. And for that on Fedora, you also let me switch. Need to um, install uh, Python 3 pip. So sudo dnf install Python 3 pip. Of course, I already have it. And then you, oops, then you can do a pip install. Uh, sorry. Mm, yeah, pip install Archie. So RG4 and now it installs because it has the net i faces and um, before so before you can do that of course you do sudo uh, dnf install and python 3 net i faces net interfaces I think and uh, yeah, then if you do the pip install again, it will run fine. And you will have Archie. So uh, it's already here on uh, local lib Python. So make sure that's on, should be on your path. Archie. There you go. So <laughs> now you know how I said not so fast. Uh, it's not very fast, but it is Python. If you're a Python enthusiast, uh, this is a nice option to play around with it, uh, right? And they have some nice uh, config files as well. Let's go to the repo. There's a disclaimer. This is not original. Um, why a new Archie fork? And yeah, this the one I'm showing is the maintained one, and this was the original one. Uh, okay, uh, 39 releases. Last month was the last release. And Python 100%. So it's pure Python. Now here in the root, this is the config.json. And here you see the, the config file. You can use this. Uh, customize it uh, to your needs. And let's look at the help file. Archie. Help. Oh, oops. Quite straightforward in that regard. So you can specify a config path and uh, output entries data to JSON format. Let's do that just to show. So this is what it spits out now. And then you can test it and uh, tweak it. And use that. So uh, that leads us to that was the last uh, one. And um, yeah, in summary, I would say for for me at least, uh, fast fetch is the way to go because it's uh, in the standard repository and it's being actively worked on and it's available for for many many platforms. That's what I would advise for Fedora. That's it. See you. Bye bye.